Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures. My name is Jolyon and in today's video we have another Sunday preview. It's the 25th of February 2024. Without further ado, let's get into it. Old World Reinforcements and the Army of the Solar Auxilia. We've got a huge Sunday preview this week, including the Solar Auxilia Battle Group and new miniatures for the Horus Heresy. Then there's a massive second wave of releases for the Tomb Kings of Kemri and Kingdom of Bretonia. Check it all out in the video below. We don't really look at, but uh, we'll just get straight into it with the Horus Heres Heresy, <laughs> the Solar Auxilia Battle Group. The Solar Auxilia supported the legions of Astartes during the Great Crusade, and when Horus began his insurrection, their forces were split amongst the 18 legions, getting stuck into the thickest fighting on both sides. Containing 28 brand new miniatures, the Solar Auxilia Battle Group brings them to plastic for the first time. Five-man line command section consisting of a Solar Auxilia Troopmaster and four Auxilia veterans with a variety of upgrade choices in leads a complement of 20 Auxilia armed with LAS rifles. There's also a Lehman Rust strike tank, an Atheon pattern heavy sentinel, and a Crocent armored transport. Two Solar Auxilia infantry transfer sheets and two Solar Auxili Auxilia <laughs> vehicle transfer sheets Featuring over 150 transfers are provided. While rules for the units can be found in Liber Imperium, the forces of the Emperor Army book. So as you can see, we've got the image right here. That is all the stuff. Obviously, there was a um, Legion of Startis battle group. Maybe this is going to be the new sort of format for sort of, I don't know, like a weird combat patrol kind of thing. Obviously, this is definitely not 2000 or 2500 points, but there is a decent array of miniatures within this box set. Um, I'd imagine this is a sort of box that you can definitely tr attempt to get your hands of on maybe a two of them uh, would be a good start. Whether or not two are going to be available. Last time the Legion of Starties box set went out of sale very, very quickly. So don't forget to use my Element Games affiliate link if uh, you would like to help out the channel. There is a link for it below and uh, hopefully you can get your hands on it if you want one. How many people are interested in the Solar Auxilia as a little army on the side i'd be interested to know anyway so we can scroll down a little bit more to solar auxilia dice they're quite nice looking things roll in style when fielding your solar auxilia with a set of 20 dice which includes 19 regular six-sided dice featuring a pearlescent gray and black swirl pattern with solar auxilia on the six face and one scattered dice as you can see that's the image right there those are pretty snazzy looking dice i believe i suppose it really depends if you're a dice wanting type person followed up by the storm seer console right here the psychers of the white scars learn from the ancient traditions of chagoris while whose shamans were able to predict and control the weather a synthesis of psychic power and ancient tradition produced the storm seer consoles warriors wielding meteorological might to aid their allies and strike down their foes this is an expert kit made from forge world resin and comes with two head options so if you need a space wizard, maybe this is the one for you. I do think this is pretty snazzy. Um, I like, I like his. Um, I'd say I do like that armor. That is rather snazzy armor. Um, I don't think I'll be getting white scars anytime soon, but I can think of a few people who might be rather interested in some of that. But still, we want the car on the bike. Am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? Followed up by the dark emissary console right here. Wielding a staff of dark authority, the Dark Emissary Console is a pair of watchful eyes for this Warmaster of Horus, ensuring their allies of the Sons of Horus meets his exacting standards. The Dark Emissary has no compunction as a grim executioner to enforce his master's will either. This is an expert kit made from Forge World Resin. He is a particularly miserable looking fellow right here. He has a staff, a power sword of some variety. He's got some, I don't know what that is in his left hand, some sort of thing he can swirl around and smack people in the head probably. And uh, I don't know if he has any sort of sidearm. Maybe he's got a bolt pistol or something snazzy on his right hand side. Who knows? But that is available coming up this week as well. Followed up by something I was talking about, uh, re replying to a comment in a previous video. The Apothecarian Detachment right here. Finally. Even the unyielding legions of Astartes require medical aid on the battlefield, and the apothecaries are responsible for caring for the wounded and delivering final mercy to those beyond saving. Their duty also extends to recovering the gene seed should an Astartes fall, 
These were a single expert kit made from Forge World Resin. I'm very much looking forward to, to these, uh, getting my hands on these miniatures right here. Um, both for my Imperial Fists and my sort of fledgling, still unbuilt <laughs> Death Guard army. Uh, I really, especially like this one here. He's particularly snazzy, covered in all sorts of reinforcing rivets and stuff like that. Uh, both have chainswords and the uh, Narthicium weapon that I can't probably pronounce correctly, but uh, that's all very good. And I can see some old hammer, old hammer, the old world Warhammer stuff coming up right now with the Tomb King on Necrolith Bone Dragon. Particularly fearsome looking miniature right there. Uh, yes, that is. Is that the face? Is that the face of a dragon or is it crocodile? No, it's. Apparently a dragon. Necrolith bone dragons are ancient skeletal behemoths reanimated by powerful leech priests to carry them into battle. They hew men apart from, with fossilized claws and turn them into withered corpses with their vile, desiccating breath. That's disgusting. And uh, you'll be able to purchase it this coming week, or at least pre-order it. This massive plastic miniature can be built with two different howders, one designed for a Mortark of uh, <laughs> Nekara, ne and the other for a Lich Priest for the Mort of the Mortuary Cult. If you build this kit with Lich Priest Rider, you can also build a Tomb King on foot. That is pretty snazzy. I do like that extra option right there. Uh, will I be getting one? Survey says most likely not. However, this one below, Neck, Neck Half, Emissary of Cetra. Cetra the Imperishable is a tyrant like no other. And his list of titles and conquests far exceeds that of any mortal man. His immortal emissary, Nekaf, arrives before battle and shrieks all of his master's titles before joining his liege in battle to lay low his enemies with the flail of conquered kings. This is an expert kit made from Forge World resin. As you can see right there. I am pretty tempted by this one. I, uh, I don't know why. Will I get it in real life? <laughs> I have no idea. Um... Potentially, we shall see. Though I do like the, I do like how it looks. So, uh, although I don't have an army of uh, Tomb Kings, who knows? Although technically, I'm still waiting on my Bretonian Pox set. So uh, we'll see about that one. We got the Tomb Kings of Kemri returning plastics. Oh yes, oh yes, indeed. Swell the ranks of your reanimated armies and take over the old world in plastic with these returning kits. The Skeleton Warriors box contains 36 miniatures which can either be built as Skeleton Warriors or Skeleton Archers and includes command retinue options for standard bearers, champions and musicians. The Skeleton Horseman contains 16 miniatures which can be built as Skeleton Horseman or Skeleton Horse Archers plus relevant command units. Finally, the Skeleton Chariot box contains three bony vehicles with options including a champion, a standard bearer and a musician. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that's uh, if you want more bony, bony soldiers for your Tomb Kings of Kemri army, this is going to be an excellent week coming up. And then I also see Tomb Kings of Kemri returning metals right here. Oh, hello. I'm not familiar with this one on the left. Three Tomb King units are returning in metal. The special character Prince Apophis a whip-wielding necrotect and a tomb king on chariot which combines a metal miniatures with a plastic chariot okay so i don't think i've ever seen this one on the left right there uh that is a pretty snazzy looking mini for people who want it it looks particularly horrible we got the tomb kings of kemri resin remasters now i wasn't aware these were remasters at all but the classics are returning in Forge World Resin with remastered elements. The Tomb King Scorpion and Screaming Skull Catapult have both changed to make them easier to build, thankfully, with uh, clearer details sculpted onto the catapult. The Carrion also return as a set of three miniatures, two of which were previously available, and one new pose designed to match the originals. I see, I see, I see. Well, that's excellent um, for people who want this sort of army. And then I see the more important things, Knights of the Realm on foot. Fantastic stuff. The Knights of the Realm are minor nobles sworn to protect the fiefdom of their duke. Some prefer to charge into combat on foot, wielding either two-handed halberds or hand weapons and shields. This box can build 20 Knights of the Realm on foot, 
armed with either a halberd or the classic sword and shield combo and enough parts to create two command groups if you prefer two blocks of 10 knights. I think there's more chance of me getting one of these. I don't know if I'm ever actually going to get that uh, Bretonian army starter set. I don't know if that'll ever appear. Um, the order's still apparently going through, but who knows. Uh, but there's more chance of me getting one of these. Followed up by the Lord with a great weapon. A genuine hidden gem returns to the old world. The unreleased Lord with great weapon and accompanying helm bearer. This is the holy grail of many a collector, if you'll exclu excuse the pun. Bland is a Games Day exclusive miniature. You can now buy this metal miniature 13 years later. I guess finally seeing the light of day is a good thing. I know a lot of people have been, uh, um, well, wiggled their eyebrows at some of the features on this particular miniature, but I'm glad that the sculptor's finally getting their miniature um, out into the light of day, which will be a good thing. And then follow we've got Knights of the Realm. We've got the, uh, the lads on horses. Ride out to defend the Kingdom of Bretonia with this reboxed plastic miniatures. The Knights of the Realm box builds either 12 Knights of the Realm or the impetuous Knights Errant with enough pieces to create up to two command retinues. Okay. Yes, I can also see purchasing this. We've got some Kingdom of Bretonia metals as well. Hello. Plenty of Kingdom of Bretonia metal kits are returning in metal. These include the Bretonian Squires and Squires Command and questing knights in their command, brandishing two-handed swords. Two prophetesses of the lady are also coming in metal alongside the green knight. Dun, dun, dun. Fantastic. What a classic miniature that is. Uh, the ultimate paragon of virtue, sacred protector of Bretonia, and one of the best miniatures of all time. Almost as good as old school Nagash. But uh, that's a chat for another day. Followed up by White Dwarf. Issue 498. 498 really evidently i'm missing it i'm missing a, a copy okay so 498 okay from the void we got um what's his features what's this what's that chap called uh vashtor yes uh the greatest gaming magazine in the world is back with the combat patrol rules for vantarians voidsman a rogue trader and her crew and for games of three and four players for kill team blades of cane rules are published while in Warhammer Age of Sigma, there are new rules for massive games in Gathering of Might and Baron Vinegulper in Warhammer Quest Cursed City. That's just scratching the surface with great content for many more game systems. For Black Library, we've got the Hollow King Special Edition. Oh, I do like the spine. It's got bats on it. Very snazzy. The Soul Blight Vampire who accepted the curse as his people in the kingdom fell to chaos. Kado Ezekiel. <laughs> Now roams the realm of death, seeking retribution and salvation for the ones he failed. Aided by the bound spirits of those he lost, Kado fail follows a path of revenge, hunting the servants of chaos to slake his need for blood while seeking the sorcerer of change who destroyed his kingdom. Then his hunt leads him to the free city of Aventhis. Kado becomes caught up in the machinations of a greater powers. Beings who see the city and its people as dust in the eyes of ambitious gods. The debut Kado Ezekiel novel gets a lavish special edition treatment, including four short stories and an after word, all by author John French. This exquisite package has a lovely embossed cover, a ribbon bookmark, and gold foil blocking, fit for a personage of Kado's stature. Hokey Doki, is it limited? I have no idea. It doesn't seem to say if it's limited, but it is special. And, oh, I remember drawing a picture of this one right here. Uh, classic Warhammer art prints are coming up. This one right here, this Chaos Space Marines. I remember drawing a picture of that in 1999, I think. Or maybe 98. Uh, do, I don't know if I ever found my Demon Hunters Codex. Very snazzy. Oh, I wish I, I'm going to have to hunt that down. So we've got quite a few old codexes and things right here. But nearly two dozen stone cold classic pieces of warhammer art from an earlier era also going on sale next saturday these are iconic covers from codices and warhammer armies books covering many of your favorite factions in the vivid vivid color palette that was the style at the time these prints are available in the uk the usa australia new zealand and japan the american versions come framed okay then okay okay all right there's warhammer plus which we don't really go into here 
and that take us all the way back to the top the sunday preview folks i'd be very interested to see what uh the viewers people watching this video are interested in collect or picking up potentially this saturday i would love to know let me know in the comments below while you're writing in the comments below don't forget to make sure that you have liked this video and indeed that you're subscribed and hit the bell for notifications. Do all of that YouTube stuff. It is a massive help, especially in the first uh, sort of a day of this video being live. If you could do that, that'd be a majestic thing. I wasn't expecting to do this video. Obviously, it was going to be I was going to completely sacrifice it because I'm away for the weekends trying to find some streaming lights and bits and pieces for, um, well, YouTube, etc. But uh, I decided to make the video because I can. Whether or not it'll load up in time is a completely different matter. So uh, without further ado, thank you very much. Hopefully I'll be doing a stream again on well, this Thursday for the Horus Heresy Thursday at around about 2.30 here on YouTube. And for the rest of the week, I will be over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash glorious badger. If you fancy watching me play, I don't know, seven days to die or whatever it is I end up playing. Um, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.